Hey guys, Spelling Module is here and in today's video I'm going to show you my top 10 pickups of 2022. All right guys, there we go. And yeah, as I already told you, I'm going to show you my top 10 picks of 2022. And of course there will be raw cards, there will be graded cards and there will be sealed product and other stuff. So stay tuned for that. And of course, let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite pickup of 2022? All right guys, let's start with something insanely huge here. What I'm going to present you right here guys is something very special. And yeah, it also looks pretty premium, I would say. Yeah, do you already recognize what this is? Yeah, let's find out. And yeah, inside of here, um, there is a stainless steel dark magician girl. So yeah, it is basically packaged like this. We have the little Konami logo up here. And yeah, let's have a look on the insides right here, guys. And yeah, check this out. How premium is this, guys? Let me know. And yeah, let's reveal this. And as you can see, we have here a very, very beautiful Dark Magician Girl as a stainless steel card. Of course, this is the version uh, which is uncensored. And yet this card right here, guys, was released on uh, March 2020. And you were able to enter a lottery, basically, so you couldn't really buy it. And yeah, another fun fact is that this card was also actually sold for 10,000 yen, which is basically $80. And yeah, 10,000 copies were given out because this card was basically to celebrate the 10,000th cards of Yu-Gi-Oh! And yeah, you might remember that we had the 10k Dragon, of course, and in the OCG we had the 10k Dragon and this beautiful Dark Magician Girl. And yeah, when this card was released, it was very, very expensive. Um, let me get it out of the display case here. And yeah, let's have a closer look here, guys, and look at this gorgeous thing here. Uh, very reflective as you can see but yeah <laughs> really awesome i think you can you you will get it and yeah again 10000 copies given out the price was also 10000 yen to begin with and yeah celebrating the 10000th of card here in Yu-Gi-Oh so very very cool thing that they did this in the OCG and yeah here in the TCG we only got the 10k dragon and this card basically uh, also has a serial number. I'm covering up part of it because, yeah, I'm kind of a weird guy, but I do not want everybody to know the serial number I have for this copy of, of My Dark Magician Girl. But yeah, this is how it looks from the back. And yeah, it's a beautiful display piece. You can put it somewhere and yeah, enjoy this gorgeous Dark Magician Girl. The colors are a little bit different from the original, obviously, because it's stainless steel. The colors are just a little bit different, but I really, really like this. Uh, piece here for my collection and yeah a little bit of a crazy story here when this card was released it was sold on aftermarket for around four to five thousand dollars also depending of course on the serial number because yeah I don't know why but if you have a very nice serial number people were going for it yeah I mean I could get if you get like number one or number ten thousand that would be really awesome right and these would go crazy prices but yeah for every other serial number I don't know why but yeah they were going for around four to five thousand dollars which is crazy but nowadays they have come down quite a bit so they're now selling in japan for around one thousand to one thousand five hundred dollars here in japan and i think this is way more reasonable and yeah i was able to pick this beautiful dark magician girl here up for around eleven hundred dollars in japan and i actually bought a second one because yeah the person was selling two and was giving me a good price so if you're interested in picking one up of these i will have one in my store very very soon and yeah if you are from germany un unfortunately i cannot sell outside of germany as of 2023 but if you're in germany or you have a friend in germany who could get the card and also pay me uh, yeah i'm going to sell this for around 1300 euros so let me know if you're interested for that all right guys, next up we have a little bit of a change up here because yeah, I thought why not, I'm going to show you a Pokemon card or actually two Pokemon cards I picked up in 2022. So yeah, let's have a look at them. Many of you probably didn't even know, but I'm actually also collecting Pokemon cards as you can see. And yeah, I have actually quite a decent raw collection also. And I started to recently pick up a few slabs here and there while I'm in Japan. And yeah, if you want to see more of my Pokemon collection, um, yeah, just let me know in the comments, I would say. 
And yeah, let's not talk too much. Let's reveal the very first card. And it is a beautiful Charizard here in PSA 8 quality. And yeah, as you can see, 1996. So this is a very, very old card here, guys. And yeah, I had one raw from my childhood, but it was very, very beat up. And I just wanted to have one for my collection because yeah, as you guys know, I'm also collecting these old Pokemon games. And yeah, I thought it would just be mega beautiful to have like this card here with Pokemon Red. And of course, Blastoise with Pokemon Blue and so on, you get it. Oh yeah, and there's also Pokemon Green in Japan. So you can actually have the whole set here. And yeah, it was obvious for me that I'm going to pick up this beautiful full card here check out this little square here on his hands yeah very very beautiful and yeah i paid around 500 bucks for this charizard so it's not too crazy i mean it's still a lot of money for a little bit of cardboard but yeah i mean this is charizard this is basically the first set it was released in and it is also in a very good quality and yeah by the way guys i'm not making this too long because yeah i know you guys are not too interested in pokemon cards but um, yeah you can see here we have this little rarity symbol most of you guys know and yeah there's actually a version of all the base set cards which do not have this rarity symbol and if you do not have that rarity symbol you will basically have it here telling the label that yeah this is basically a no rarity version and actually if you have a no rarity base set card in japan these are basically considered first edition so this would be somewhat of an unlimited card there is there is nothing like that officially but yeah unlimited would be the one with the rarity and first edition would be the one with the no rarity symbol mark here and of course it doesn't have the rarity symbol yeah if you're like interested in more pokemon stuff just let me know but yeah i'm trying to keep everything short here because yeah I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh channel uh, because I'm not a Pokemon channel, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. And yeah, next up guys, yeah, I have to show you the real addiction I have and it is basically E-Series cards. And yeah, this is a beautiful Gyarados here from Mysterious Mountains 2002 and it has the new bag obviously. And yeah, I was able to pick this beauty up here. This is a card I really wanted for a long time and I should have bought it way earlier before all the boom. Um, nowadays this card is very expensive, um, I paid around $400 I think and for the Charizard I paid around $500 so yeah crazy pickups for my uh, Pokemon collection but yeah some cards I just have to get and yeah this is basically what I got for Pokemon cards uh, in 2022. Alright. Okay guys so the next thing I'm going to show you is actually very very interesting, a huge topic for me. And yeah, we are going to talk about some Asian English Ultimate Rares I recently picked up. Okay guys, so yeah, maybe let's go like this because I don't want to spoil everything like directly. But as you can see, we have the TCG back here and we actually have the OCG back here on this card. And yeah, actually I can already show you really quickly. The Japanese layout looks again a little different as you can see looks like this and this is basically Asian English and this is Japanese okay but it's not about card bags today it is about the cards themselves and I'm going to present you here uh, ultimate rare cards as you guys know I love ultimate rares basically my channel is all about ultimate rares and you can see that I have a Asian English ultimate rare of this Rottweiler here and the German copy here on the other hand and you can see that these look different, right? Even though there is a sleeve in between and a camera, you can obviously see that the ulti reliefs aren't the same here for these cards. And I prepared some uh, counterparts for the cards I got in Asian English. And yeah, I'm just going to compare these uh, throughout the video and we'll show you also the pickups I did in the last year. And yeah, I'm also planning on doing a whole video about these Asian English cards because yeah, these are so nice and yeah let's actually have a look at another pair here we have the ultimate insect level 3 maybe we'll just have a quick look at this card here by itself and then reveal the german copy as well let's have a look at the german copy and actually the german copies or the eu ultimates have a really really nice ulti relief but as you can see asian english is just a little bit better still yeah it's still more detail and it pops differently and yeah this is what makes asian english cards really really special guys and i'm working on a whole video just covering asian english ultimate rares and the whole history about asian english cards 
so yeah if you don't want to miss that of course subscribe to my channel and yeah i will tell you way more than i'm able to tell you here in a couple of minutes but maybe a little bit of information about these asian english cards here guys check this out i really like this mystic swordsman level 2 also look at the detail of the background everything is so different here uh yeah i wanted to tell you something <laughs> about the asian english cards but i always get distracted by myself and yeah basically to make it short guys asian english ultimate rares are the most collectible form of ultimate rares out there in all Yu-Gi-Oh! because in general they have a way more detailed relief and at the same time they also have the OCG cardstock or the Japanese cardstock which is just more high quality and therefore the cards just look way better out of the packs. So basically we are combining the very very nice relief of these cards uh, with the quality of the OCG cards and this is also the reason why these cards are so expensive I mean normal ultra rare super rares some of them are expensive as well but ultimate rares are just on a different level and yeah just to mention maybe in a small example as of 2023 here there is also a Asian English ultimate rare version of Uriah and in Asian English you will pay around 6k dollars to get a raw copy in near mint whereas in English you maybe pay half of that maybe even a little less for an US copy because these US copies even though they have better quality of cardstock they have a really flat surface for the ultimate wares which is just not as desirable check this armed dragon here out he's also one of my favorites um, it is so different right i mean the german one is very very flat you couldn't even tell that this is an ultimate rare if you do not know what ultimate rares are but for this card here you can see that there is basically different uh, yeah, levels of the relief and yeah it looks super super nice so yeah one of my favorite pickups of 2022 and yeah guys if you want to find out more about these asian english ultimate rares i'm planning a video just about asian english ultimate rares the whole history and what is so special about them so yeah if you're interested in that of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss this awesome video